never filmed an intro, so hi, it's Jazzy Ann, and welcome back, Snacks. Let's literally just get right into the video. Told my brothers one day we gon' make it. I lied, it's Tuesday. I didn't film anything on Monday. I'm sorry. So one day I'll be stomping on those stages. But right now we just dancing in the basement. Good morning. <laughs> it's 9.30 a.m. I have a 9.30 a.m. class right now. I gotta go. Okay. I feel bad. So I'm in history class right now. People were talking about their names and how common they were. So I said congrats and then it got closed and now no one can say anything. I'm sorry. Okay, so update. The question panel got turned back on. But then as soon as it got, it got turned back on, this dude said hi and then it got turned off again. Oh my god. Okay. So I just finished history class. I wish I paid more attention to the lecture while I was on the call because I think I only got one question out of the three right for the extra credit. So next time I'm gonna pay more attention instead of laughing at people in the chat. I don't have a class until 12.30, but I have a lot of history homework to do because like I said, our grades are based off of like the homework and assignments we turn in rather than like actual tests. I'm kind of overwhelmed because I do have a lot of work to take care of. A lot of my classes are self-paced, so it's up to me to get my work done by a certain due date. I printed this weekly planner page. I would have actually just owned a real planner but mine is still coming in the mail so I had to compromise for now and I'm using this so today for example I just had my 9 30 call and now I got to do my homework and then I have a call later and then these are also things that I want to do today and then I also have a scheduled call today and then I also have dinner and then like you know I plan out my entire week honestly like maybe that's a little extra but it keeps me on top of stuff and because I completed my class now I have the luxury of checking it off and then doing the next thing because I have to do my homework. Oh. I'll bet you I can run faster with no wind resistance. So I actually just finished history homework and I literally had to jump right back on Zoom. I'm taking a class called Who Do You Think You Are? It's a required course. Fun fact, I thought this class would have to do with psychology of your identity or something really cool like that, but it's actually literally just a biology class and I can't stand it, I'm not gonna lie. So I'm still in my breakout room right now, but we finished our little discussion. We were like on top of it. No, I'm in a group of three different girls and we all just like did our work and finished our discussion. So now I'm gonna make lunch because I still have like 40 minutes of class and I'm really hungry. Okay. Also, someone needs to clean our freaking microwave because it smells so bad. I think it's my fault that it smells really bad because the other day I put a cookie in there for like, a minute whenever I was only supposed to put it in there for 10 seconds and it burned and I was really afraid that the fire alarm was gonna go off but it didn't. It's probably my fault. Maybe I should clean the microwave but if someone else wants to go ahead. So I'm all done with my zoom calls for today. So I'm gonna- <laughs> <laughs> Hi! <laughs> it's Morgan! I have this board here and Morgan also has a board. We don't have any pictures for our boards So, so I'm gonna order them from CVS because I actually have I have to drive Morgan over to CVS later today Because she's not feeling very good. Can you come here so I can take your temperature? 97.9 that's normal, but I'm like hey, we're going to CVS anyways. Why don't I? order pictures however if you already watched my dorm room tour then you know exactly how these two boards came out thank you i have one last call for today but it has nothing to do with school i actually have a therapy session which is something that i've like never talked about but it like it helps me i don't i don't want to go into it it's just like I just got off the call with my therapist. I'm going out tonight to get dinner at 6.30 and I have to go drive Morgan to an appointment at 5.40. I think I'm gonna get ready, put on some makeup. So that's what I did, guys. That's what I did, guys. Hi. Um, I just drove Morgan to CVS. I'm outside CVS right now. Since you're here, let me do a little CVS haul. I got us some toilet paper. Yeah, we're in charge of our own 
Oh my god, did I buy the worst kind? I literally bought the worst kind. I bought the kind that you find at like at school, like the super thin papery. Oh my god. I got our pictures that we printed for our board. Ah! Some cotton pads. I got some Q-tips. I got makeup remover. And I got some more makeup remover. But since I came over here to bring Morgan, I was like, I might as well just get everything that I need to get. So she's not done yet. Um, I'm probably gonna be late to dinner, but it's fine. It's not a big deal at all. And I was late to dinner. But it's all good. We still had a really good time. Whenever I got home from dinner, I FaceTimed my friend Megan from my hometown because I really missed her and I wanted to talk to her. <laughs> and then for the rest of the night, I spent some time figuring out how the crap I wanted my bulletin board to look. And I finished the night by watching a lecture from my film class and taking some notes. And that was Tuesday. Cause I swallowed the bubble gum. Good morning. So it's 11 o'clock. I need to leave in like five minutes. I'm meeting my friend Gabe and we're gonna get some coffee and some brunch. I have to return this huge mirror. I ordered it online and it came in cracked. So I don't really wanna ship it. It's super heavy. So I'm just gonna bring it back oh, to- Oh no! Morgan dropped her apple. Don't trust anyone. What? Thank you, Miss Morgan. Thank you, Miss Morgan. Thank you, Miss Morgan. Um, now I gotta go to brunch with Gabe. I'm really, really late. I gotta go. I like you. I don't give a fuck about your boyfriend. Come on, let's link. Can't do what I do. I can beat it up with no hands. The really nice thing about Wednesdays is I only have one real class. Is this? What the f- I need to get over, please. Yo, go, 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 go. I have one class at 10 a.m., but it's not even a real class. We're all in a similar uh, major, and we all just, like, talk about it because we're all freshmen, so we get to know each other. It's really chill. And then the next class I have isn't until 4 p.m., and it's not even a class. It's literally me just watching a live stream and listening to a lecture. There's no like notes I have to take or anything like that. I just have to attend the lecture, so I'm probably going to do other homework during that when you were younger you didn't see things quite the same as you do now but now you're older you find that sometimes you i had a really nice lunch with gabe it's always so much fun like catching up with friends but the lights oh my god left. okay sick let's go return this freaking mirror update i can't return it here yeah um okay so like it's not my fault though i originally was was allowed to and then like their printer literally doesn't work here so i have to drive to another walmart that's like 20 minutes away from this one i'm already like 20 minutes out of my way from my house i need to do freaking homework like i can't spend all day trying to return this freaking thing Update, I didn't return the mirror. Update, I didn't return the mirror. Update. So, apparently, because it's like a Walmart marketplace item, I can't return it in store, which I had no idea. I, I've never had this much, this many problems with returning an order before. It should not be this difficult to return an item, an online purchase. It should not be this, because guess what? The mirror is damaged. The mirror is cracked. I should be able to get a mirror, a different mirror back easily. I don't want to end this clip on a bad note. So here's the pretty city. Here's an awesome montage of the awesome city, Austin. Maybe you smoke too much and you drink too much. But as long as you can get back to home base, well, that's fine. Fifty-five. But I just woke up from sleeping through my lecture, and Jazzy's driving. Don't tell my mom. Yeah, We're I'm going to get waxed. I'm getting my eyebrows waxed. I'm getting literally my entire face waxed. 
I'm pretty sure. Okay, so the time is now nine o'clock. I just got dinner with Morgan and I like laid in bed for an hour because I was really tired. I have some homework to do actually, but like I knew I wasn't gonna do it immediately. I needed time to sit down and chill. I actually have like four packages that I need to pick up downstairs. I really, I want to show you like our little package pickup area. It's so fun. I hope that no one's out right now because if someone sees me like filming it, they're going to judge me. The boys in this building low-key scare me a little bit. Um, what would they judge you for? Filming the freaking package thing. Okay, so I got an email and I just have to scan. I just scan it. And that's not <gasps> And then it's like a little game. You like get to see what packages come. Where is this from? Isn't that amazing, guys? I'll do a little haul when I get back. First, I have this package. I got a mask that says I'm smiling. Oh, wait, I think this is from Gabe. Oh, this is a birthday present. Next is for my brother Joshua. I'm pretty sure this is also a late birthday gift. Oh my god, I think he got me a stuffed animal. It's reminding me of my dog Fuzzy. Is it? Aww. So sweet. Aw, thanks, Josh. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> it's um like 12:20. I have class at 12:30, so I wasted so much time. I don't know why I was so tired, but I feel fine now. <clears throat> okay, I'm gonna get ready for class. So I have three minutes until I gotta go to class. Today is kind of a busy day, but not like school work wise. Shut up, you slept till 12. I actually didn't film a lot Thursday because right after my Who Do You Think You Are class, I spent the day getting ready to film my video. Basically every Thursday, I film my video for the next week. So recently, I've noticed that in my Instagram DMs, I've gotten a lot of questions with people asking like, how did I get into UT? Because this person's also interested in applying to UT. I'll give like a general answer. Maybe I can go more in depth in the future. So something that honestly like helped me a lot is that I'm an in-state student. I know that's like super annoying to hear if you're from out of state. Two of my roommates are from out of state. So like it's totally possible. UT also does this thing where if you're in the top 6% at your school, you get automatically admitted. Like if you're in a Texas school, um, I actually wasn't in my top 6%, I wasn't automatically admitted, but I still got in, so it's still possible. It all really depends on your major, but one thing that is really important is like you have to have good grades. Like that's that's just part of it. I mainly had A's and B's, but um, like my roommate, for example, I'm pretty sure she had like all A's and she's from out of state and she had like a really, really good SAT score. So like it really, really depends like for every single person. And although grades do matter, it also matters like who you are as a person. So like if you have experience outside of school or if you're involved in sports or if you do like philanthropy work, like you do service other places, like you just wanna try to be as involved in, as possible. And also a lot of it has to do with the major you apply to because certain majors are way more competitive than other majors. I know like the business school here is like crazy competitive to get into, it's insane. Basically, I would recommend for literally any college you apply to, just have good grades and apply yourself to other places and just like write about it to your best ability. Make yourself sound like the absolute best person for this school. Basically, you're answering their question like, if we admit you to our school, what do you, what do you have to offer us? That's like out of the ordinary, that's like interesting, you know? That's gonna make our student body one of a kind. Me. Okay, I thought you were going to get cane salsa! Cheers! Oh! Why are your bread bigger than mine? This is the best sushi ever. I literally love it so much. It's so good. This H-E-B is so nice. Oh my goodness. I'm so overwhelmed. These are actually really good. How bad can I be? <laughs> Oh my gosh, wait, should I get this? I've always wanted one of these when I was a kid. Okay, I'm gonna do a little haul of everything we've got, guys. Okay, I got sushi. Oh, it's funny. I got grapes. I need to wash them. I'll wash them but later. I oh, know. we got cheeses. Um, I got mac and cheese. <gasps> I got jello. 
cucumbers that you bought? I'll eat some. Oh yeah. And then we got shredded cheese. Oh yum. And yeah, make um, I yeah. got us some thank you cards. Sorry. Oh, I got us sliced apples, yogurt. I got lunchables. I got, I got the mochi. I got a bunch of frozen bowls. Oh, we got frozen broccoli. I got more Nutella. And cheddar cheese. Wait, why broccoli? Oh, we really wanted broccoli. I also got a jug of tea. I'm so excited. The time is now five o'clock. So because I spent so much time yesterday with filming and editing my room tour, I'm really behind on homework, honestly. Which is fine though, because none of it's due until like this Sunday. I don't want to be doing any homework on the weekend. I want my weekend to be off. It may like stress you out that I'm behind on homework, but I'm very used to this because like in high school, I would always have like a day dedicated to filming and then I would just have to catch up on my homework. That's just how it is. Um, LOL, LOL. Also, this weekend is a three day weekend, so I get to have Monday off because it's Labor Day. I was actually supposed to go home and see my family, but then we decided that maybe it wasn't the best idea because um, like Corona is going around and I just feel like it's best if I stay put right now. One of the main things that I love about keeping a planner is that like it's so satisfying checking off everything. Because if you look at this, I've done like literally everything I need to do except for my homework, which is kind of important, but I'm doing it right now. But it feels so nice to get to the end of my week and be like, okay, like I can chill out now for a little bit, you know? just went on a run. The sun is setting. It's been a nice day. Throughout all of that filming, I realized I never did my outro, so I'm doing it right now. That was my first like real week of college with like an actual syllabus, like, actual homework being given to me. So I feel like I'm starting to get back into the swing of things. I'm feeling a much better about everything. Um, I really like Austin. I'm literally sitting in the middle of a trail right now. There's so much to do here, like outdoors. Up. It's really cool. It's so refreshing. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe down below to be part of the snack pack because I post videos every single Friday. And, and make sure you follow me on all my social media because I'm always posting something somewhere. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Where can I go now? When every time I find a place I'm dreaming And nothing else I find I can believe in